lot of mark check for me don't check for me unless you got checks for me i kept a stick like a hobo no checking me way back when d-lo had to spot and trust you so many they get up i said to me what is up guys it's up going sports here with a utah jazz trade reaction video they traded for mike conley yesterday but make sure you drop a like comment your favorite team down below in the nba or any sports but if you're new make sure you go down hit the subscribe button with notifications on so you don't miss a video so here is the actual trade that went down grayson allen kyle Culver, jay crowder the 23rd pick in the draft and also a future first round pick from the jazz to acquire veteran guard mike conley who i believe is 32 years old so he's not that old but he's obviously not young still a very productive point guard very solid point guard a two-way point guard really because he can get buckets but he can also defend and he's a really good defender so jazz i think got really good value for some picks and younger players so obviously the Jazz are now going all in for the next couple of seasons because Conley's probably going to start to regress and he's already making a lot of money. They might be able to re-sign him on a team friendly deal. This trade though makes a lot of sense for the Jazz. I mean the Western Conference is now wide open with Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant both being free agents and both being out most likely for the entire season next season. And the Jazz are saying you know what? We're not going to be afraid. We're not going to be cautious here. We're going in. We're throwing in all the marbles. And I like the pickup. I like the move. you got to be sometimes taking risks in the league in order for it to pay off. And a lot of those young guys and picks weren't going to really contribute to the Jazz right away. So trading for a guy who's ar you already know he's going to give you. As far as the backcourt of the Utah Jazz now, I think it's top five for sure in the NBA. It could even be top three because you think of top backcourts in the NBA. You've got Curry and Clay, but that might be broken up in free agency. We don't know. We've got Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. That's still a really good backcourt. Um, I really can't think of any other solid backcourts. I mean, John Wall, Bradley Beal, but John Wall is hurt right now. So I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you can name any better backcourts in the NBA than Mike Conley and Donovan Mitchell. As far as the defensive potential for this team now, it is going to be insane. I mean, on paper, you've got really good defenders all over the court. Joe Ingles at the small forward is no slouch on defense. He's actually a really good defender, I think. Really underrated defender. Then you've got Mike Conley, who's already a great defender. Donovan Mitchell, who's shown he can be a great defender. Rudy Gobert, who might be the biggest most elite defender inside so i don't know this team could be the number one defense now it is on paper to me not to mention quinn schneider is one of the best defensive coaches now evaluating what the utah jazz actually gave up to get mike conley a lot of people are like 50 50 on this trade who won the trade who gave up too much and honestly the jazz i don't think they gave up too much they gave up grayson allen who was a first round pick last season the 23rd pick who they could have got a solid wing player but no one really knows if they weren't going to contribute in their rookie season and then another first round pick they're probably going to be good so it's not going to be that great and then some other older players as well so I don't think they gave up too much for a really solid point guard and moving forward for the Utah Jazz to build around Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, and Rudy Gobert they still have some cap room and some exceptions to even get some more wing players, maybe some shooting, maybe some defending, whatever they need, maybe a backup point guard. I guess they have Dante Exum, but just some depth. They need some depth. They did give away Kyle Korver and Jake Crowder, who are pretty big pieces of this team. So they definitely need to go out and sign some veterans, but they still have the cap room with this trade. They had enough for a max deal, but since they made the trade, they still have some room. Make sure you leave a comment and drop a like if you enjoyed On The Road To 500.